It was with much fanfare that a fast-growing e-commerce company announced availability of medical insurance facility to all its employees. The benefits were like their hottest deals and they expected enrollments to be likewise. But it didn't quite turn out that way. There was a trickle, yes, but that's not what the company was used to when offering a deal. Hearing the grapevine for their market research suggested that people valued the offering and will sign up. But when? The rollout team thought that people are too busy with their daily chores and therefore not taking the effort. So they even put a deadline, but even that cut no ice. Traditional theories of consumer behavior suggest that individuals choose in order to rationally maximize utility. But is that really so? Worried, the rollout team roped in the medical insurance partner for advice. Their first instinct together was to come up with creative ideas such as giving freebies on each sign-up, freebies on every fifth sign-up, freebies on lucky draw basis and so on. But will giving freebies ensure a near universal sign-up? Since the offering was best in class, why were people not subscribing anyway? Is trial and error the only way out? Or should they choose the way out simply by gut feel? Or is there a scientific way? Enter behavioral science, a science that helps us understand the emotional, social, cognitive and psychological factors that influence the consumer's decision. Loss aversion, a behavioral science theory, suggests that the displeasure of losing something appears to be greater than the pleasure of gaining the same thing. Prospect theory is a formal theory of loss aversion. According to prospect theory, the value function in let's say pleasure of gaining 500 rupees versus displeasure of losing 500 rupees is S-shaped. Predicted to be concave for gains above a reference point, convex for losses below it and steeper for losses than for gains. This shows losses loom larger than the gains. This loss aversion leads to an anomaly called framing effect, a cognitive bias that makes people react to a particular choice in different ways, depending on whether it is presented as a loss or a gain. Similarly, loss aversion also leads to a tendency to stick to previous decisions, even when a change might actually be better. The rollout team can use framing effect. Instead of having people subscribe if they wanted to, the rollout team can subscribe them by default and ask them to opt out if they wanted. Now firstly, opting out seemed like a loss and secondly, people would want to stick to the status quo, which is keeping enrolled. But is it that straightforward? If all this is scientific, can it be verified with experiments? Moribus conducted such an experiment to determine loss aversion in a particular population. The experiment design is called Lottery Choice Task. Individuals are presented with lottery choices determined by toss of a coin. There were in all six choices given to them in turn. They can either accept or reject taking choices. In each choice, if the coin lands heads, the individual would win 60 rupees. And if the coin lands tails, he would lose either 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 or 70 rupees respectively. Participants were between 16 years to 50 years of age. 47% of the total participants were graduates, 29% of postgraduates and the rest were non-graduates. 56% were males and remaining 44% were females. 50% had income above rupees 4,50,000. 23% had income between 50,000 to 1 lakh and 11% with annual income above 1 lakh 50,000 to 3 lakhs. The experiment clearly showed the population exhibit loss aversion. The experiment also showed that while loss aversion was similar across the income axis, it was significantly different on the age axis. As age increases, probability that an individual is loss averse decreases. Now the rollout team can use this understanding of a population's loss aversion to decide how to offer the medical insurance. So does the rollout team need to rely on grapevine, trial and error or gut feel or can they choose a scientific way? That's the value of behavioral science. It gives the marketer a framework to think and method of experimental validation of hypothesis.
all based on a highly developed science.